Hello everyone, Oscar with Sammy's Camera. Now I recently took a trip to Yosemite National Park where I captured some epic photographs with the Panasonic S52X and a set of S-series lenses. In this video, I'd like to share some sample images with you from all four lenses and go over why I chose to include them in my kit. Let's start by talking about the S52X. With a 24.2 megapixel full frame sensor and class leading image stabilization, I was armed with a fully capable camera. Now I mean this guys, I would love to say that I had all the time in the world to capture amazing images with perfect lighting scenarios, but the reality is that this was a family trip first and so I had to keep up with my boys. With that being said, the Lumix S52X definitely aided in the stunning images I was able to capture without having to fuss too much. Here are the four lenses I chose and why I decided to bring them with me on my trip. Okay, first let's talk about the 20 to 60 millimeter f3.5 to 5.6 kit lens. This lens came with my camera and honestly, it just does the job. Okay, the second lens is the 24 to 105 millimeter f4. Let me tell you guys, this is the Swiss army knife of lenses. And if I only had to choose one of the lenses I took out with me, this would be the one. This lens is sharp and the f4 constant aperture was not a problem thanks to the S52X's dual native ISO. This lens covers such a big focal range and has optical stabilization. It ended up being the best lens for me in most scenarios and I found myself going to this lens anytime we were walking around in the park or on our hikes. The next lens in this lineup is the 70 to 300 millimeter. This ended up being the perfect lens to pair with the 24 to 105 and came in handy when I needed that extra reach. Thanks to this lens, I was able to capture some beautiful images of Blue Jays that we found in the park. Just like Ansel Adams, I too wanted to capture the stunning beauty of this vast landscape and in doing so, I would need a wide angle lens. This is why I chose to pack the 18 millimeter F 1.8 prime. This was the only prime lens in my kit, but I knew that this would be the best lens at helping me capture the vastness of this remarkable place. We entered Yosemite Valley via Wawana Road and our first stop was Tunnel View. Here you have a straight shot through the valley and can see El Capitan, Half Dome and Bridevale Falls. What an epic view to start our trip. And I primarily use the 20 to 60 millimeter lens here and the 24 to 105. As we made our way down into the valley, we stopped to get a closer look at Bridesville Falls. Here I used the 24 to 105 millimeter. Now one of the really nice things about the gear I took is the weather sealing. We encountered mist from the waterfalls, heavy rain, and even snow in the two days that we were there, and the gear got through it unfazed. Now something to note is the S52X's fan ports located near the EVF. I just made sure there was no rain getting in those holes and it was perfectly fine. If this is a problem for you, then I would definitely recommend going with the S52 as it eliminates the vent holes and is better weather sealed overall. Our next stop was Yosemite Falls where I came across my first Blue Jay. This is where I was glad to have the 70 to 300 millimeter zoom as I was able to get some great shots of this beautiful creature. Now, one of the tips I want to share with you guys today is to go into the menu system and turn on constant preview. This makes it so what you see in the EVF and LCD screen is a preview of your exposure before you take your shot. I'm not sure why this isn't turned on from factory, but I would definitely recommend turning it on. Our last activity of the day was a short hike up to Mirror Lake and spoiler, we didn't make it. As soon as we started on the trail, the weather turned on us and we had to make a choice to turn back and get the boys to shelter. Still, we managed to find ourselves in a part of this paved road, nestled between the forest, alone, with light snow falling, and managed to make the best of it and its awesome scenery. Now, Mirror Lake has always been a place I wanted to capture, so we didn't give up and we went back the next day. It was a completely different experience in weather and we ran into some blue jays once again. The trail had some really cool things to see and this really cool moss growing all over the trees that I captured with a 70 to 300 millimeter. 
Now, something I have to say is that this lens's focusing distance limiter really came in handy when I was trying to focus on the moss. And in this situation, both in manual and autofocus, it did the job. We finally made it to Mirror Lake with great views into the clouds. I used the 18 millimeter with a slow shutter thanks to the S52X's in-body IS. Shot handheld and managed to get my shot of Mirror Lake. From there, we checked out this really cool wooden bridge called Swinging Bridge near the meadows with a great view of Yosemite Falls in the distance. We also took this opportunity to take a nice family picture and I'd like to share some tips that my friend Twin gave me. All you need is your tripod and you can use a Panasonic app to hit the shutter button or use a timer like I did in this trip. But I also use the S52X in the time-lapse mode and just set the shooting interval to take a picture every five seconds using the 18 millimeter F1.8. Then we just lined up and were able to take multiple images, hopefully containing at least one with both kids looking in the camera. Well, that concludes my trip to Yosemite, but not before I stopped at Inspiration Point to get one final shot of Yosemite Valley with the 18 millimeter F 1.8. And a little tip for you guys, if you haven't shot landscape before, you're gonna wanna make sure your aperture is closed down from F8 to F16, depending on what the best um, aperture is for your lens and the sharpest. Don't just use the lenses infinity focus setting. Make sure you guys are actually looking through the EVF, or if you have a focus assist like I do on the Panasonic S52X, make sure you have that on so you can make sure that everything is in focus. Now, I really liked having all this glass, but I understand not everyone has access to all of these lenses, and that's why I would recommend the 24 to 105 millimeter F4 as the go-to lens for this kind of trip or any kind of adventure trips. It's wide enough for landscape photography and at 105 millimeters, you get a completely different perspective and nice compression. If you guys wanna learn more about the Panasonic S52X or any of their lenses I mentioned today, head on over to one of our Southern California retail locations or check us out at sammys.com. That's gonna do it for us here today, folks. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.